What's going on folks? Get on City Papers. Um, everybody is asking me all the time uh, why not posting stuff about what's happening around the world and everything else but I'm guessing that those people who are saying that they don't know me and uh, they don't know that I have channels open for years and years that actually got cancelled and banned uh, since 2020. So the thing is just I just can do what I used to say or I used to do online because right now the censoring is real. On the other hand, um, I used to have a YouTube channel who had canceled in 2020 because I started talking about the wrong things if you guys want to know the truth. Then, changing the subject, I still made some videos about what's happening right now months ago uh, about the uh, invasion in Europe, about the food, about the farmers and so forth. But right now, everybody knows that it's nothing that we can do because, you know, when we needed to go out there and raise our voice, we didn't, and now it's too late. So, what can I tell you? We're in Canada right now. Uh, I don't think uh, a war is going to happen around here. What I believe, yeah, inflation is going to go through the roof. The agenda will go forward, and uh, I don't think we are going to be able to stop it with uh, online petitions. And... Uh, that's that's about it don't get me started i got a different channels on telegram if you want to know my political views about this my conspiracies about this you can check me out also in uh p shoot odyssey and rumble but now let's talk about my mask a lot of times people contact me and they think i'm um, afraid of something that's why i wear a mask so i made a video for them because you know people need to understand that I've been wearing a mask and a face shield for years before 2020 and not because I was afraid of something. Why, why, why you always wear a glove? Are you scared of something? You know, be like, oh, what are you scared? I'm not scared of anything. What happened, every time I go to the range, a lot of lead and explosive material comes to my arms and my clothing. So most of the time you're gonna see me with gloves and uh, you're gonna see me with um, long leaves, uh, sleeves because I don't want anything of that getting into my body. So what I do, I wash my clothing in a different spot, in a laundry, one of those door laundry machines out there, and I discard the gloves. So in that way, when I travel, I don't get uh, the flag. Sometimes they swipe it with a little thing, tested it, and three or four times I, I lost my planes or I got delayed because, because questioning. So that's what I learned, that I have to always keep my body and my clothing free of lead and explosive material that it come from the range of course i talk to them then after i talk everything's clear but i sometimes i waste half an hour sometimes i waste two hours and sometimes i lost my plane and then what happened i'm going to give you an example last time this happened to me i lost my plane to miami uh it's supposed to be from five to nine o'clock arriving time now i got delayed so the next plane was going departing at 11, going to North Carolina, and from there I have to go to Miami, but I have like four or five hours of uh, laid off at the uh, airport. So I ended up arriving to Miami at 11 p.m., something like that. Insane. So that's the reason why I wear gloves when I go to the range, because I used to travel a lot. So I never knew when I was about to travel. Maybe it could be two or three days in a, in a dance only. So that's the reason guy folks so thank you for your support see you out there and don't forget to subscribe like and share and uh see you out there man thank you for your support again